Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge. The link for the rules for this challenge will be in the description below as well as a link to the channel for Lucid Summer, the creator of the challenge. So, oh, good morning, Isaiah. It's the third day on our journey as toddlers, so he's a little bit upset, uh, understandably. I know, there's nothing to do here. So maybe we'll go out to the town instead. Oh, and I did decide to get rid of some of these things that the toddlers actually do not need yet. So we're going to get rid of the hamper and the wash bucket because unfortunately that creates issues with laundry just piling up because no one can do it until they age up into children. And I've also gotten rid of the bee box because no one can take care of the bee box until they become teenagers. All right, so Isaiah is going to go to the bathroom and then we're going to have something to eat. And of course, Latasha is up now. Are you level three in potty yet? No, you are not. All right, let's have a quick chat with the rabbit. Maybe Clover will be our friend. Latasha is not potty level two either. And that actually will max out their communication skill pretty quickly. Okay, Latasha, you can stop talking to the bunny and let's go potty before you pee your pants. Isaiah actually needs a bath. Latasha's not far behind him. Neither one has gone in their diaper once, but after a couple of days, the decay on their hygiene is to the point where they really should have a bath. And Isaiah is communication level five. You just need to get your attention up a little bit so that you'll be in a good mood. And maybe you can make friends with Clover? I wonder if we can pat the bunny. Aw, so cute. He actually let us pet him. Alright, now that we're in a pretty good mood, uh, let's travel. So I hope while I'm here, someone will ask me uh, what's wrong or check on the toddlers. And they'll ask to be cleaned up. Unfortunately, I cannot initiate that interaction because it we only have sinks on this on this lot. There is no bathtub. Also, I was hoping that someone might grill up something on this grill over here. If we stay on this lot long enough, uh, sometimes Sims will autonomously make food over here. And maybe we can meet some of the townspeople. I don't want to talk to anyone who doesn't actually live here. Too bad their communication is already maxed. The only thing we need to work on now is movement and potty. Bajor and Bajerson. <laughs> that is a weird name. Okay, you don't live here. And I'm pretty sure that she doesn't live here either. Yeah, you don't live here either. I wish you wouldn't come here. Ian McMillan might be someone who lives here, but I don't remember. There's the mayor. Let's introduce ourselves to the mayor. Okay, Aiden Hester also lives here. He's one of the Sims that I actually placed in the, a house. Okay, they're going to just chat with those people, and no one has made any food over here yet. Why not? Let's play with the mayor, although we don't get any attention from it because she's not a caregiver. That's disappointing. Okay, I guess we'll have to go talk to the bear. Now, I tried putting high chairs on this lot to see if I could ask people for food and drink. But although I can ask, it seems like the high chairs actually don't work. I can't set the toddler in the high chair and give them food and drink. Because high chairs are bugged right now. Almost movement level 3 with Latasha. Isaiah has potty level 3, but his movement could use some improvement. Now, originally, I also wanted to make the lot that they lived on off the grid. But unfortunately, you can't eat raw harvestables while off the grid because it will not satisfy your hunger. And actually, when you become a child or a teenager, I think that it gives you a bad buff most of the time. In addition to that, a lot of off-the-grid stuff is broken. For example, making the oven use bits and pieces will not allow you to cook. You have to have some sort of power source on the lot, like solar panels. I wish you could just do everything off-the-grid, but no, you have to have... Some kind of solar power or some kind of power generation for anything to work. Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's interested in cooking over here, so we might just go home now. Where are you, bunnies? There you are. Isaiah is now level 3 movement. Okay, time to get ready for bed. 
Hey, what are you doing? You're waking me up. That was mean. Now I can't go to sleep. I hate that feature about the tent. Why do adults choose to do that? Okay, Isaiah is now very sad because he's grungy. And now it's Wednesday at 4 a.m. and already we're awake. Okay, after Isaiah is done using the potty, we'll go back to the bar and see if we can get anyone to give us a little bit of, of refresher. All right, I'll have Isaiah throw a tantrum and maybe, maybe someone will come up to him and ask him what he wants. Oh, and he wants a hug. Well, that is cute. I think you need a bath more than you need a hug. And that doesn't even get him any attention. Oh, it does a little bit. Okay, so hugs work. But you can still cry because you're dirty. Oh, yes, this time I got a little bit of hygiene. Oh, that was actually a lot. Unfortunately, I don't think he'll ask for hygiene now that his hygiene is decent. Yes, now he wants a hug. <laughs> and he refuses the hug. It's just like a toddler. Yes, I want a hug, please. No, 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 don't hug me. Okay, let's go talk to the stuffed animal. That might get your attention up a little bit. Okay, and now she's sad. Seems like none of the Sims I know are asking me what's wrong. It's only the adult in my household that is. Okay, she asked for food. That's not good. You're not going to get food. The interaction is too buggy. Oh, I'm shocked. She actually got food. My ri original intention was to have them go to the bar and ask random strangers for food, but it never seemed to work, but now for some reason it's working. Okay, now can you ask for hygiene? Okay, let me out of this high chair. Okay, you're going to put me back in the high chair. Why? Yes, I know I stink. Can you give me a bath or at least a little bit of a cleanup? I don't even know you. You're a complete stranger. Maybe I can get the stranger danger buff and that will make me sad enough to be able to cry. As a toddler, you should be able to cry even if you're happy. Because that's what toddlers do. Okay, now we know Cecilia. Okay, apparently wandering doesn't work in this world or on this lot. Okay, Hector Laurent might live in this area, um, but you are a random townie. And don't you love the random townies? Oh, and she actually used the potty and was proud of her potty, so now she has another happy buff for two hours. Okay, when are you going to... Okay, there we go. Now we have enough anger that we can throw a tantrum. Yes, I want a bath. Finally. Yeah, that wasn't so much, but at least it was something. And she immediately throws a tantrum again. Okay, I did not do that, but that's okay. You still are having no fun and you need attention. Let's see what she asks for this time. Oh no, you're not going to go smash the dollhouse. Go talk to the bear. And Isaiah almost needs more hygiene again. Great. I think that's how we're going to be spending the rest of these toddlers weeks. Is trying to keep our hygiene at least somewhat reasonable. All we need now is movement. But movement just goes very slow. I think I did put a slide. Oh, yes, I put a slide on this lot. Okay, so that we can get our movement skill up really quickly. It takes forever for the teddy bear to fill your attention. The rabbits are much quicker at it. So Isaiah threw a tantrum. I don't know where Anaya is. Oh, there she is. Yeah, but she just completely ignored him. Is someone else going to come up and talk to me? Okay, I think the slide is actually fun as well. A level four movement. So much time to go home. Are you ordering drinks with my money? Okay, he asked for a hug. And then he doesn't want the hug. Why are you going all the way over there to throw a tantrum? Okay, let's just go home. Okay, we need to hurry and go to the potty before we pee our pants again. Luckily, she is movement level four and is going pretty fast. Okay, we have to eat some grapes and then we can go to bed. Okay, that's the end of Wednesday, and next is Thursday. I think maybe if we go to the bar one more time, we can get our movement skill all the way up to level 5. Alright, where are the bunnies? No bunny, there's a fox, but all I can do is say, what's that? And that will not give me attention. Oh, there's the bunny. Isaiah has reached movement level 4. So now we only need one level each, and we will be done with our skills. After that, it's just keeping their needs up and socializing. 
I may just go ahead and age them up though because it is really boring playing them as toddlers. The idea is nice. It may be if they had some friends to socialize with or some kind of relationship interactions, it would be nice. But the relationship interactions they have with adults are just not very good. But I think Isaiah needs an entire level of movement. We'll let him use the slide. He also needs some fun. And then Latasha only needs a tiny bit, 6%. She should be able to get that just by running around. If you do the interaction to take their clothes off, they get, actually get ener energized. But for some reason, that interaction and also the run around one for this lot doesn't really work. It resets them. So I think I'm just going to have to use the go here option. Okay, Latasha has maxed all of her skills. So you can do whatever you want now. Let's see, is the slide fun? It should be fun. Okay, that was a little bit of fun, but not very much. Why is the slide not incredibly fun? That is the most fun thing in the world to a toddler, is going down a slide. And it doesn't even matter how tall the slide is. It, the slide could be like two inches, uh, you know, bigger than the, two inches bigger than the child. And the kid will still have fun. I completely disagree with how much fun this isn't. Hey, you're destroying the dollhouse I was playing with. That was mean. Somebody fix it. You can actually ask an adult to fix the dollhouse. You can't. I don't think you can ask them to fix the tent. You should be able to. Uh, you definitely cannot ask them to fix other things around the house. Oh, finally, his fun is yellow. All right. Movement is level is 70% complete. Level four. That seems like it's not going up very quick. You're just going to watch Isaiah go down the slide. Okay, I guess that's a little bit of fun. And then go back to playing with the dollhouse that is repaired now. Okay, Isaiah has mastered the movement skill. Alright, since you two have, let's see, three more days to age up. I'm not sure if I really want to play as a toddler for three more days. Also, it doesn't really, and you keep ordering drinks and spending my money. Okay, let's get you to bake a cake, and we're going to age these toddlers. Oh, but I have Simple Living on here, do I? Oh, I, I guess not. Okay, so Simple Living is on the lot, uh, the home lot, and I thought I put it on this lot as well, but I guess it actually isn't on this lot. But that's good, because I didn't really want to go buy flour and sugar and a choco berry. Okay, quick add birthday candles before someone takes a bite. Okay, Latasha, let's age up into a child. Okay, why did that not work? All right, let's get everyone to come in here. Great, you're, no, you're going to need to pee soon because you had that drink. Happy birthday, Latasha. Okay, she is going to love the outdoors. And I'm not sure which child aspiration we should pick. We probably won't be able to actually complete any of them. Uh, let's go for the social one. And she's so cute. Okay, now Isaiah's turn. And Isaiah blows out the candles too. He's also going to love the outdoors and have the social aspiration. And go ahead and grab a piece of cake. Oh, what happened to your hair and your outfit? Oh, for some reason, I think that shirt is tagged as masculine, even though um, I, I don't consider a shirt with a bow as masculine. I mean, boys can wear shirts with bows, but I don't think it's a masculine shirt. <laughs> Why are you bald? We'll have to fix that in Kaz. He should not be bald. And you're bored. Okay. Okay, so now uh, Latasha and Isaiah are starting the next stage of their life. And this is the lot that I have built for them. So the basement is gone. There's this huge tree with a ladder and a few things to do outside. And there, it's actually a tree house. And I thought this was kind of adorable for children because they have grown up out of the cave and actually convinced some people to help them build a tree house to live in. So this would be really fun as a play area for some kids. So we may even leave this here permanently, but for right now, this is what they're going to live in. And they still have the play tent and they have the shower up here now. 
So they won't have to worry about other Sims being on the lot and not being able to take a shower. So that's all for today. We're going to cut it off here. And now that they're children, they can actually grow their own food. And since they won't be able to use the quick meal cooler uh, or cook for themselves, they will still be eating harvestables. Uh, they can't even light the fire. Although I may have to get rid of this log. I remember now having the log is actually a bad idea with these fire bits for some reason. They always catch on fire and you can't do anything about it. I don't think I've ever seen the tires catch on fire, but any kind of wooden chair will always catch on fire every single time. So that's it for this time. Join us next time for Latasha and Isaiah as they begin planting their first crops. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.